What's up, my sensitive crew? I'm back again with another video. Y'all already know what it is. I'm at work. Yes, it's all I know. Work and home. Home and work. I can't stop, y'all. I can't stop, you know. <clears throat> I won't stop. Why should I stop? <laughs> you hear me? But anyway, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm at the workhouse today doing nothing. Yep, this is what I do. I come to work and I do my job and then I take a break and do nothing. I'm on break right now, so that's why I said I'm doing nothing. But my job is not hard. That's one thing I can say. It's not hard at all. Love my job. Sure do. I sure do. <sighs> Boy, I'm so exhausted, y'all. Moving is really a job itself. I mean, you know, and then I haven't been sleeping good. I guess being in a new house, you know how it is. Well, a new place. It ain't no new house. It's a new house for us, but being somewhere new, it's kind of, you know, hard to sleep for me anyway. Walk don't have a problem, but for me, I can't sleep good. I don't know what it is. I, I just wake up all through the night, and then I get up, I walk around and stuff, and make sure everything, you know, is good. Uh, so, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, trying to get everything situated, and you know, like I said, moving is not easy. It's it's a hard job. Oh my God, yeah. I don't want to do this in another 10 years. I promise you. I had so much stuff, man. I had paperwork from like 2015. I, I, just like a hoarder, man. I ain't never, I'm like, oh my God. I had so much paper. And then I tore all my paper up. I don't have a paper. You know, the machine that you, you know, uh, shred the paper. So I shredded it myself. Because, you know, when you got people that be watching your every move, you know what I'm saying, people can go in your mail. You know, I got stuff with all kinds of information on it. I cut it up and tore it up. And it took me a while to do that. But that's something that's necessary because when people out to hurt you in any kind of way they can, people will do anything. So... The best thing to do is shred all your paper. I sat there and did that for, I mean, <clears throat> every time I cleaned something out and had, you know, my paperwork in it, I tore it up really, really good. They could never get my information, which I know, you know, it's people out there that, that really, really, really be doing crazy stuff like that. So that was, that was very important for me to do, you know what I'm saying? I know while I was sitting up looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm tearing paper up with my information on it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. <clears throat> but overall, you know, I'm glad that I'm done. Oh God, I don't wanna do this again for a long time, y'all. It's a headache. Then, I mean, it's like you get dirty. I ain't had no nails on. I took my nails off. I got down and dirty when it came to moving. Y'all hear me? I clammed up on a U-Haul and I got with it, y'all. I got weeded because it seemed like we weren't going to ever get done because what my son-in-law did, him and his cousin, they moved mo and walk, they moved most of the big stuff. So it was me and my daughter and Walt pretty much moving, the, you know, the boxes and stuff on the U-Haul. At first it was like I couldn't climb up there because I fell. I fell the other, uh, last week when I was still in the apartment. I fell in on my knee, and I fell three years ago on the same knee, so I was kind of having problems. You know what? I, even though it was hurting me, I got up on that U-Haul, and I did the damn thing. I got those boxes out of it because it was like it was getting dark. The U-Haul supposed to have been back at 5, but unfortunately, it didn't get back until like 10-something at night, y'all. I had to pay extra money. I had to pay extra money. For the you all being overdue, you know, it was closed, but still, you know, they got cameras. They see what time you bring this stuff back. So <clears throat> we took it and dropped it off and put the uh, keys in this little drop box. <sighs> when I tell you, 
moving is a pain, but, and you can accumulate so much stuff in three years, even though I had a lot of stuff, like I said, from 2015 paperwork, but I'm saying the stuff that we accumulated in three years of living in that apartment, it's unreal. It's so unreal, y'all. I'm like, oh my God. And I keep on thinking about, I do not want to go back through this no time soon. Because I thought we weren't going to ever get done moving. Oh my goodness. You know, I was just excited at the same time. I was tired, exhausted. But I was excited, you know, just to see how, you know, everything was going to look once we put it back, put it together. You know, I remember times when we used to move when I was younger. I could put this stuff together in one day because that's how much energy I had. But now that I done got older, you know, it takes some time now. Man, getting old sucks. I promise. When I was in my 20s and 30s, yeah, I can do, you know, just about anything. But now that I'm 50, in my 50s, it, t- it takes me a little longer now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all feel me. But, yeah, I, I'm sitting here. I just want to come in and do a video, you know, just to talk for a minute. I ain't doing nothing. Just sitting here. I did my lashes this morning. Did I say that? I think I said it in my other video. I got another video as well. I, I, I'm, on this video, I'm showing my, my backyard. Y'all might see this video, the other video before you see this one. But just in case you don't, that's what the other video is about. It's still a walkthrough, but I didn't show you the backyard on the first video. So on this one, I showed you the, the back porch. Um, so with that, y'all see it. I ain't going to even tell you what it is, but you're going to see the back porch and you're going to see the backyard. So that's what I want to. Yes, I'm not going to run it in the ground. I'm not going to run it in the ground, but hey, I might as well because I'm, I'm proud of me. The hard work that I put in, you know, working hard. This is something that I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to put your mind to it. You know, I was like, well, you wanted to move and, and, and you know what I'm saying? We could have waited and no. What's the purpose of constantly waiting? You constantly wait, 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 wait. We'll never move. We'll be there for another three years. No. I put my foot down and I went ahead and did what I had to do. That's what real women do. Ain't no sense of constantly waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, he was like, well, we could have waited another month. No, I couldn't have. Nope. I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you, you get comfortable with a certain way you live. Well, I was comfortable. I was comfortable in that apartment. Nothing was wrong with that apartment. It was nice. It was just the rent was just so high because we was on a month to month. <clears throat> but it was, you know, it got to be extremely high. And for what we was paying, we could be in a house. You know what I'm saying? And plus we had outgrew it. You know, we had so much stuff, y'all. Closets. It's the closet space that we didn't have. And our bedroom, all walk stuff, my stuff. It was just, it, it, we outgrew it, just put it like that. And so with that being said, it was time to get up, pack up, and move. And that's what I did. I didn't even tell them. I just came to work, got on my internet. See, I've been on the computer all day anyway while I'm here. So I'm on the internet, and I'm looking, and I'm looking. I did the application myself. I paid the, uh, the uh, you know, the application fees myself. I didn't ask nobody for that. I did it on my own. I'm not going to wait on nobody. You know what I'm saying? You want something done, go ahead and just get out there and do it. Because if you mention it to somebody, oh, well, we can wait another month. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to be in no rush. In, in your mind, okay, yeah, we can. This is what I've been listening to. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been wanting to do this. But then you don't want to go through all the application process. You don't want to go through all getting all the necessary uh, documentation that you need. Oh, it's a lot. When I tell you it's a lot, it's a lot. But I, I did it, and I didn't stop. When I put my mind to something, I'm going to do it. And that's what I did, you know. And if you tell somebody you're going to do it, they try to, you know, well, we, we can wait, you know what I'm saying. That's what we work hard for is to live better, you know what I'm saying. It ain't where we want to be, but you have to appreciate the small things in order for God to bless you with the bigger things. You know what I'm saying. So this, I'm I'm happy and I'm 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 
I'm so grateful. You know what I'm saying? You have to really appreciate and be grateful for the small things that God bless you with. Because the next the next blessing can be a bigger blessing. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what that's what it is, y'all. And uh, I'm going to end this video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Let me go to work, y'all. Love you guys.